which side I lit first when this goes up. So now this is this is not contained. So what's gonna what's it gonna do? It's just gonna go poof. I hope, because I'm only using about a one meter uh, wire here. Yeah, that's it. Thermal now this thing is almost full of smokeless powder. Uh, it's not leaving a lot of a lot of uh, residue. If you look at it from an investigation standpoint, it left a pretty cool looking trail. But and you can see some <laughs> residue around the very outside of it. But the very center burned pretty cleanly. If we took that same thing and put it in here and then put my little electric match in the bottom, we would get a very resounding explosion because the bottom is actually the, the, the contained by the top. And you get, it, it, because it takes a second for that thing to burn, you actually get that build up in temperature and pressure and it does start to go, I, will, I don't want to call it high order, but you will get an explosion out of the exact same stuff if you contain it, and it doesn't take much to contain it. So this is the smokeless powder. This is a great little fire starter. Get down to Walmart, and if you want to use this to start your Boy Scout camps or you know campfires, something like that, where the uh, uh, you know the, the, the gods of fire speak to you at nighttime, and you say a few magic words, this one you'll have plenty of time to get a picture of. Believe me, huh? once it lights up, you'll be able to see it for about two or three seconds here. But this is going to be a total detonation or deflagration. 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 You can stand right here. I'm not going to get hurt, but. Uh, uh, it, we'll come back and look at it when we're done, and there won't be much residue. I've got probably a pound in here. Three, two, one. Very little residue, if any. I mean, there's a couple little, little pieces of stuff blowing around here. A couple so what little. What if you put them both together? Explosive and regular black powder. 